Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who adorned creation with splendor and beauty and fashioned human lives in your image and likeness, awaken in every heart reverence for the work of your hands and renew among your people a readiness to nurture and sustain your precious gift of human life. You are Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so now they have disobeyed in order that by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. Oh, the depths of the riches and the wisdom and the knowledge of God! How inscrutable are his judgments and how unsearchable his ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has been his counselor, or who has given him anything that he may be repaid? For from him, and through him, and for him are all things. To God be the glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Lord, in your great love, answer me. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, May your hearts revive. 
For the Lord hears the poor. In his own who are in bonds, he spurns not. Lord, for God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. They shall dwell in the land and own it, and the descendants of his servant shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall inhabit it. Lord, The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees. He said to the host who invited him, When you hold a lunch or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers and sisters or your relatives or your wealthy neighbors, in case they may invite you back and you have repayment. Rather, when you hold a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay you. For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Paul begins this particular passage from the letter to the Romans by addressing them as brothers and sisters, and he says, The gifts and the call of God are irrevocable, meaning that what God has given to us and what God calls us to cannot be turned around or turned back or unused. What is that gift? What is that call? Through our, our baptism, we are united with God and with Christ himself. And Paul is telling the apostles that by being baptized, there's no way that you can deny the fact that you are a child of God. And through that baptism, God instills in us a gift of faith, a gift of love, a gift of holiness. And then those gifts that he gives to us The call is that we are to grow in those gifts while we spend our time here on earth and simply to grow in holiness, to grow in godliness, to become more like God throughout our daily lives. What God gives us is always there. How we choose to take it and to nurture it, to nourish it, is left up to us. In the end... We won't be judged on the gifts that we have. We will be judged on the call and how we responded to those gifts. Let us pray today that God will give us the grace through this Eucharist to grow those gifts that he has given us, to grow in holiness, and hopefully to become more godlike. Let us pray for Pope Francis and all bishops. May the Holy Spirit be their guide in preaching the word of God with conviction and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, may the Holy Spirit lead and guide all government officials in enacting right and just laws that respect the sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, suffering, or enduring any kind of hardship, 
May the graces of the Sacred Heart of Jesus give them comfort and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of our faith community, may the Word of God dwell deep within our hearts, inspiring us to serve the needs of one another with great love and care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they soon enter into the holiness of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful and gracious God, hear these prayers we offer you this day through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the long of the Holy Church. O God, who bring forth bread from the earth to sustain our lives and wine to gladden the heart, be pleased to accept these gifts and make them the sacrament of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels and saints, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, host on in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, host on in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Daniel our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Yes. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
With you, O Lord, is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Confirm our resolve, O God, by the life-giving body and blood of your Son, that we may live always for others and cherish your sacred gift of human life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.